Welcome back to the battlefield. Today, we are going to see whether or not I can actually beat a Roman Legion and a half plus a garrison without essentially getting my armies destroyed. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, but I've been known to screw that kind of thing up in the past. So, The other thing I want to do in this episode is actually rotate some of these troops around. So Grumpy's Guard, go hang out up here. Because something I have been needing to do for some time now is actually, eh, you guys just go ahead and stay right in the settlement. Switching so that I don't have all of my infantry in this army be phalanx infantry. So I'm going to switch these two guys out with the heavy spears from this army. And that way I'll have kind of a solid hoplite front line. They're not called hoplites, but they function as hoplites, so whatever. Anyway, that way I can have a solid hoplite line in this army and have some actual mobile proper spear units instead of phalanx units to support the flanks over here. Support the flanks of the phalanx. Okay, how are we doing for supplies for the navy? Five and seven. So, just fine. Which one has better movement range? I guess it probably doesn't matter too much, but these guys have worse. So I'll send them to the forward port, send these guys here, get them a little bit of replenishment, get their supplies back up, and then I'll resume the blockade here. Otherwise, I think all I need to do is launch the attack. Ready for orders. So let's send one army up here. All right, well, 35, 45, 52 units versus my 40. Should be a heck of a fight. What I could potentially do, I don't know if it would actually work, but I suppose I could actually lay siege to this city and that would prevent the garrison troops from coming out. But I don't want to be that cheesy right now, so I'm just going to go for it. Okay, I would actually rather attack the larger army in the fortified stands because I hope I can get more out of the artillery. Alright, balance power very much not in my favor. Enemy army is pretty strong, but not that strong. And it's almost entirely infantry. just counting up how many skirmishers they have how much and how much cavalry they have so four units of cav and a lot of skirmishers so i need to be careful with the pikes on the front line but otherwise let's see how this goes the other thing to consider is that the back half of this army and the back half of this army won't be able to enter the field right off the bat because obviously they can only have 40 units on the field at a time This might end up being the biggest battle I have ever fought in DEI at all. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've had any battles larger than this, and I can't think of one. I'm just, there, there must have been some, but I can't think of them right now. In any case, this should be interesting. It'll be a micromanaging nightmare for me, and as we all know, my micro isn't the best thing on planet Earth anyway. <laughs> all right, so my reinforcements are coming in from back here. It's unfortunate that they are that far away, but I do think I need to deploy up as close as possible to make use of the artillery.
see if I can actually deploy over here and that gives me line of fire on both of these exits. Okay, we'll go ahead and line up the archers right behind the artillery. Now, all of these all of these swords, it's kind of okay if they die. Obviously, I don't want to lose them, but it's kind of okay. These guys, I really don't want to lose. So, what I will do here is have these couple of units on the sides. I'll run them up to the center. Right when the battle starts, so that we can at least have a front line and something to put the archers behind. I'm thinking their reinforcements are going to come in from back here and over here. And so I would kind of assume the AI is probably going to go out this entrance to try and link up with the reinforcements and then they'll all march on me. So I think I'm going to stack a little heavy on this left side. And I'm not really going to worry about this right flank so much. Tell you what, I'll keep the heavier cab on the right flank. Okay, that's everyone. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, what are they doing? Okay, we're getting a little bit of them bunching up here. Archers get right up behind the front line. Okay, reinforcing cavalry, get up here ASAP. Pikemen, get up here ASAP. The walls are breached. Definitely going to need the pikemen to do some good work in this battle. Okay, how are we going up here? Yeah, we're doing okay. I'm going to shift one of them over a little bit. Just to try and hit the center of the blob. Actually, I'm going to shift... Nah, we'll just do that and see what happens. Need the artillery to get a lot of kills in this battle. Slingers, go ahead and get on up here. Rest of my melee infantry, get up here. You guys come to this side. Okay, now which... Oh, and the dogs. I forgot about them. Okay, how are we doing? Still firing into the main blob, so I think that's... We're fine to keep using our ammo there. There's maybe an opportunity to snipe out a general here. Just since they have so little cavalry. I'm gonna wait until the rest of this cav shows up though. Okay, which one is the actual general? Okay, you I need to not throw away on accident, so let's just keep you in reserve for now. I'm gonna move all the cavalry down here so I can manage them a little bit easier. Is that all of them? Send the Tarantine cab over here. Artillery, stop firing. Okay, I'll just save a little bit of ammo for a minute. And then maybe start repositioning a little. Because it looks like, yeah, they're coming out this side, so I'm assuming their reinforcements are coming in this direction. Okay, I do feel like I need more cavalry over here, so I'll send the Cappadocians over here, and I'll actually bring the heavy cab back to this side. Stacking really, really heavy on the left flank here. Ok, 
Okay, there's not much opportunity to hit their, them in groups right now with the artillery. Plus, my artillery's moving anyway. Still gotta get the... What are they called? The pikemen up to the front. Ready to ride. That's your service. Go ahead and fast forward for a minute here while they're forming up and I'm trying to get my troops together. Ooh. Good to know. This is why you send scouting parties out. Okay, reform to there. I mean, Romans are so cool. Okay, we can fast forward a little bit more. They're not charging over at me just yet. There's a little bit of an opportunity to try and catch out some skirmishers, but I don't think it's worth sacrificing my cavalry yet. Pikemen are almost in position. These guys are really, really slow for very light melee infantry. Okay, balance of power is dead even, but they still have another 12 units that haven't even joined the battlefield yet. I'd like to give my guys an opportunity to rest before we engage. Everything over here should be melee infantry pretty much. So I shouldn't need to worry about that. Man, these guys are slow. All right. That's good that we're bringing one of their four units of cavalry out early. Anything I can do to minimize their flanking abilities is of course going to be beneficial. I cannot believe how slow those guys are. Okay, I may even try and draw their skirmish cab into my melee cab because I can kill them way faster that way. Okay, archers. Unload. Okay, didn't quite catch him there. Don't want to get stuck in the center. Archers, go ahead and do your thing. Okay, they did decide to charge me after all. Okay, they're going heavy on my right flank, which is kind of problematic. Start rotating this, these swords over there. Okay, archers. Dealt with another unit. Swords, time to get involved. I'm just trying to get a charge bonus here where possible. I've already missed my opportunity for the most part. Okay, cavalry, go deal with them. Over here, start throwing your ammo out there. Okay, archers, time for you to pull back. Artillery, go ahead and just use all of your ammo right there. That'll be fine. Pikes, you're not in phalanx, which is horribly bad micro on my part. You guys start coming out and around, you guys start dropping back, so then you start moving around. Cavalry, get ready to move in on this side. Okay, we need help on the front line here, right now. You 
still haven't dealt with this cavalry. Okay, you get a rear charge there. You try and catch that unit. Slingers, just chill for a second. Okay, pikemen, get on the front line now. You guys go ahead and engage. General, go after their general because he's being a cheeky boy. Dealt with another unit out here. Get in on the phalanx units quickly. Okay. Swords. You can start to fall back. We've got pikes up there in position. No need to waste my melee infantry on bad engagements. Okay, keep these swords chasing after that, just to help deal with it quickly. Cavalry needs to get out of there, cavalry needs to get out of there, cavalry needs to get out of there. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this is so hard for me. Okay, you guys try and reform again. This way I do have a reserve line still. My archers also still have ammo, which is good. Okay, if they're charging out here, I don't want to mess with it. Not while the infantry's close by. You guys go help deal with that. These swords are going to die. Okay, cavalry. Start getting ready to go after him again. Don't know really what's going on there. Alright, I'm just going to give some attack orders here. One general down. Okay, you guys fall back. Okay, how are we looking over here? You guys pull back. Need more infantry out here. Just enough to tie them down while the cavalry does the work. Archers, you don't really have a good target right now. Um, archers just chill for the time being. I don't have to get them involved just yet. Okay, how are we looking over here? You guys keep coming up and around. Peltas keep coming up and around. You guys drop back. You guys pull back. Slingers. Hit that unit that's out in the open. Okay, I've got them surrounded here so I can start doing some rear charges. Okay, what's happening over here? They're on to my skirmishers. Okay, time for the rear charges. I'm actually going to keep the Tarantine Cav back for now because they can be made useful elsewhere. Okay, let's get some charges in there. You guys start working on that. You guys, out of guard mode, out of skirmish mode, just get out of there. Okay, here's the extra. I just unselected them somehow, whoops. Okay, you guys run away, you guys run away. You're probably gonna break on the way out of that. Okay, we're getting some good breaking over here. Send the infantry out and around. Actually, you guys need to help out here. Yep, these guys are wavering while they pull out. That's okay. That can be forgiven. You guys fire into the back of that. All right. Archers, come over here. I do need to let the dogs loose soon, too. That's unfortunate that those guys broke. But it's acceptable. They were not in a good position. Pikes are looking healthy. Time to pull this cavalry back out of the front line. Okay, we've smashed them over here. 
That's some Miss Micro by me. Slingers, start working your way out and around. Where's my dogs? Get over here. Okay, there's a rear charge there. Here's another one. Okay, might get some braking here in the center. forgotten you existed. I've lost track of the dogs. I would like to get them in here though. Okay, you guys go help out there. You guys turn back around get ready for some more. Okay, pikes are still looking healthy. Have I gotten other units of swords I can get out of here? Okay, these guys are healthy, but their formation is all kinds of screwy, so let's pull them back. Let the dogs out. That's a free kill right there. That's probably another one. Okay, you guys. Go dump all your ammo into there. Okay, need a little help over here still. The dogs are in, so we'll just let them do their thing. Have we got an Atriari we can shoot at? Yes, right there. I don't know how this unit of axes is still fighting, but they can leave now. Okay, unfortunately, since we're getting a lot of one-on-ones out here, it's not actually effective engagements for me. Okay, dealt with this unit. You guys go help out over there because they are not dying quickly. You guys can go ahead and use the rest of your ammo now. Let's get a rear charge here, a rear charge here, a rear charge here, and a cleanup charge here. Slingers, shoot those guys for a minute. Archers, just go ahead and stop for a minute. You guys stop for a minute. Start moving around this way. Okay, how are we looking? You swords, start coming this way. Get a volley out, come on guys. Break them. Ah, not quite. Yeah, their morale is too high to quickly break like that. Okay, let's get the pikes advancing so that they're not just killing my cavalry for free. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad micro by me. Yep, that's okay. You guys, you guys deserve it. You can leave. I'm shocked that these guys are not winning decisively, but it is Velites, and Velites are pretty good. Okay, we're gonna set you guys to skirmish mode, and archers, delete the Italian swords for me, please. Dogs, go ahead and pull back over here. Okay, how are we looking? You guys go this way. General, go see if you can save that unit just so they don't get killed while they're retreating. Cavalry is still fighting up there, which is a little bit embarrassing. Archers, reform, dogs, don't be part of that, please. Okay, got a couple of healthy units of swords over here. And there's the army losses. Let's go ahead and chase down as much as we can. 
That's my unit. I don't need to chase them down. Where's the rest of the cav? One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, there we go. Rather than running them down, I'm just gonna call it there. All right. Well, I know I didn't get any close-ups, but oh, look at those losses. <laughs> Not a ton of friendly fire either. I'm kind of happy with that. I didn't get any like good views of that battle. But. That's just going to happen. I can't micro fast enough to get cinematic shots and try and manage 40 units all at once. I'm not that good. Maybe one day. Actually, let me let me know if you guys are interested, because I do sometimes save replays like that. If you guys would be interested, I can try and go in and do like a cinematic capture of big battles like that. And I could just post them as a quick little one-off episode. So if that interests you, let me know. That's something I'd be open to doing. All right, now what's the damage? The Axeman... Got hurt pretty bad. Everyone, wow, I really didn't take much damage from that. The pikeman did take a little bit of a beating without getting a ton of kills, but I wasn't microing them very carefully. Cavalry carried a lot of the weight. Archers didn't do a ton, but they got really important kills. Those dogs impress me every time I look all right. Every time I look at them. So they've got a little bit left here, a little bit left in the garrison. That entire army got destroyed. You run away now. I'm afraid we cannot. I'm afraid we cannot. Ready for orders. All right, now, Durlex's destroyers get up here, finish off the garrison and that legion. I don't care for any of those buildings, so I'm gonna raise it. That almost, did they have barbarian buildings in here? So the Romans hadn't even actually converted that over to Latin buildings? Is that what I just saw? Crazy. All right, over here. I think I can actually probably take Genua right now. All right, I'll let this one run a little bit long. Let's see if I can get this battle done in 10 minutes or less. Ironically, I think moving my unit, my swords, around the right flank in that last battle actually cost me more casualties than if I had just left them in reserve. Because that kind of pulled their swords back away from my pikes and let their swords do a lot more damage. Didn't realize my cavalry got took as much damage as they did, but they'll be okay. Okay, swords, go ahead and... We're actually going to play you to this side. These guys are just going to stay in reserve. I don't... I'd actually kind of like to keep this unit of Axemen. I don't care about this unit at all. Okay, Slingers, go ahead and hang out out front. Is that everyone? Yes, let's go. Yes, 
levees. Okay, the slingers are the ones I need to target first. So let's actually go ahead and run over here and start firing. Or slinging, rather. Levies don't have enough range to have good effect on me right now. Okay, we've got the range. As soon as these guys stop moving, we can start ripping away at these Italian slingers. Who actually just barely don't match my range. That's nice. Okay, I could maybe catch a unit of Italian slingers out over here. Okay, it'll take a little bit, but my guys will cut through them eventually. Or shoot through them, sling through them, my guys will kill them eventually. Oh, bad day for you. Look at that. Almost 80, 80 kills on the charge right there. That was a really, really good charge. Okay, you dealt with that unit. Go ahead and stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that charge. Mostly just happy I got to see it. Alright, what's the play here? Town guard is nothing to be concerned about. Alright, whatever, it's just time to move the pikes in. Wondering if I could maybe get a side shot on some of their units over here. Advance at speed. A game of cavalry. Advance at speed. Riders of Albert. Slingers. I'm going to try just giving attack orders and see what happens. Okay, I'll actually take these guys out of the front. You guys need to actually form up, please. Send these guys in around the flank, keep some of the pikes in reserve, get the general up close enough to be useful. Okay, 
Alright, let's bring the cavalry in a little bit closer. Make sure that the cavalry isn't doing all the work, the pikes are being aggressive. How are we doing here? Losing decisively? What? That doesn't seem right. Okay, you guys get out of there. How are these guys losing decisively? Oh, because they're being shot. Alright, that's that's fair. Should probably have put them in phalanx before letting them get engaged, but what's done is done. Keep the pikes pushing over here. Let those guys go ahead and pull back. Still losing decisively. Okay, let's bring some reinforcements over here. Try and get another charge there. Actually, this would be the better unit to have reinforce. Pull the general back out of the way for a minute. Okay, that's one unit smashed. Slingers, I don't even know what you're firing at anymore. Actually, you guys get over here and help out, because this is getting a little bit messy. Okay, I can't really get effective charges in here, so I want to try and keep the cavalry sort of disengaged. Okay, if I can get the dogs out of here, I can get a charge in, though. Wow! How are they doing so much damage to my pikes from the front while I'm in phalanx? I don't understand. Okay, you guys are doing okay, at least. At least until you broke up your own formation. That's a bit annoying. Try and reform. Any unit I can break right off the bat is good. Well, this turned into a royal mess. I didn't think it would be this bad. But I did not use my pikes very carefully. Okay, we'll go ahead and send in everyone now. Just make sure the pikes are advancing instead of being stagnant. Yeah, 
Wow, they are holding out really well. Pull you guys back out of it real quick. Let you guys get back out of it as well. Just try some cycle charges here because so far the cavalry charges haven't been enough. I am shocked at how well this garrison is holding out. There we go. Well, that was actually kind of embarrassingly bad on my part. Still didn't take that many casualties, but I took important casualties. But what I could do is start recruiting Pergamene pikemen into this army instead of just the Ephesians. Alright, what buildings do they have here? That's actually good, except I don't want to have to convert all of it. So, goodbye. Temple and food. Let's go ahead and get all of this upgrading as well. Alright, now let's see. 89 men. Okay, let's merge those two. Pick up just whatever random mercenary real quick. Alright, and I'll end this episode here. Um, hopefully the audio didn't freak out, because I feel like that was actually a pretty fun episode to play, and so that means it was hopefully a fun one to watch. Anyway, I... We'll plan on seeing you guys in the next one. Let me know if you want to see battle replays from my campaigns in a more cinematic style, and I can try and make that happen. But we'll see you guys next time.